Ah, uh, yes. Is there anywhere more Cleveland than Cleveland? I'm Richard Chahamus, and Cleveland is the next stop in our Tour Across America series. I'm standing in a parking lot next to a memorial known as Progressive Field in honor of the Native Americans who once lived here called the Cleveland Indians. They were known for a rugged sport called baseball that is still popular in America today. Another unusual aspect of the culture are these figureheads known as stop signs. They apparently tell the vehicles that are passing by where to stop. Fascinating. These here are trash reciprocals. Think of them as cubby holes for your least favorite possessions. They're very popular in this area. American hieroglyphics. How fascinating. They may seem confusing, but they're rather easy to interpret if you look at it. The E stands for eternity or the foreverness of things. The four stands for how many times you must bow before this sign. And ST stands for saint, indicating as you put these all together that we are standing on sacred ground. In the restaurant district, exquisite cuisine can be found on every road in the area, literally. And so it is, gum and cigarettes, local products made here right in Cleveland. Yes, there's nothing like sitting down at one of Cleveland's authentic wooden tables made from real trees. But one of the best things about Cleveland are its many, numerous, revolving doors. Here is one of Cleveland's favorite sculptures. It is in memoriam to a wagon wheel and an oar that died here 150 years ago. Over here we find a sealed door to Troll Land. The door is open once a millennium to introduce more trolls into this world. As of right now though, it is completely shut. The pigeons around here are not very financially stable. However, according to an old law, you are not allowed to feed them. They will accept money though. $50 is fine. In this fun and interactive game, you have to try to make it across this thing called the street in time. Let's see if I can make it. Mission accomplished. We end our tour at Tower City, a magical place where guitars can spring water. Home to the world's best candle. And where the people are incredibly friendly. Happiness lives here in Cleveland. Um, can you tell me which way to the happiness, please? It's, it's right, right here! here. Yes. Speaking of happiness, the day I happened to be in Cleveland was also the day that hordes of people had showed up to see the extraterrestrial being, the John Green. What is your favorite thing about Cleveland? Where in Cleveland? The Eiffel Tower. No habla español. I love the high rate of crime. At night, something interesting happens. It starts to get a little bit dimmer. The sun isn't quite as bright. I don't know if this is specific to Cleveland, but it seemed like an interesting phenomenon. But overall, what is it that makes Cleveland so Clevelandy? Is it the Clevelandy people? Is it the Clevelandy places? No, the answer is that in this land of Cleve, this is the Clevelandiest Cleveland that you'll ever Cleveland. And to all you little dicky birds out there in La La Land, let me wish you good night. Good night, fair Cleveland. Good night.
What is your favorite thing about Cleveland? North